Here, tuck her down. Hello. Hey. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Characters Welcome, the wow. best damn character show that we are welcoming once again to the internet. Here it is. It's you. It's us. We got two rectangles. You got two eyes. It's serendipity as far as I'm concerned. That's right. And always watch one of us with one eye and the other with the other eye. That's the only way to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. As always, we're characters welcome. But as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, we are for rent. Um, so if you are anyone who's anyone and you want to slap your name down there in that bottom right hand corner, please. You're welcome. To. <laughs> please make it happen. Uh, for rent and to own. We're a rent to own business. Like we're not here for, uh, we're not a fly by night operation. We've committed to this 100% except for some of the people who used to do this and one of which their names is still in the left hand corner. And that, the, that area is for rent as well in the left hand corner. The, the very bottom, just the text on the very bottom. That's also for rent uh, if anyone's interested in that. Um, Justin, we're coming off a hot show this past Friday, yes? A uh, big fun time we had doing uh our duo characters which was a whole new energy so this is our live show we do it once a month at uh, friends and lovers in brooklyn um best time in in business uh in the business so please come join us sometime but yeah it was a fun one it was a good one yeah duo characters and um what's so interesting about it was a lot of people chose to do different different they, they took different approaches to doing a duo character like justin for example you um, you and your partner were almost never on stage together. It was kind of like a, a, a cascade of a single character. A cavalcade of comedy is what we like to call it. Uh-huh. But one, one thing that happened in almost every single character was everyone thought that they were going to be a genius and be like, we're going to be the ones that say words at the same time. Yes. Um, and no one else is going to do that. And it's going to be really impressive. And then the first people that went on, Elena Scapetos and Sam Rogal, did that for their entire character and put everyone else to shame. No one else could compete with that afterwards. Yeah. I mean, it was very funny that they went first and did it really well. And then everyone else was like, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Um, Kathy L says, two characters. Isn't that a sketch? Wrong. I got to say, uh, I was surprised that you uh, were into this because it does feel like it violates uh, Eric's rule number one. What's rule number one? Don't that characters are one person and not stand up and that's it. Don't you you have me confused with a larger gayer man who is a part of the <laughs> Wow. Yes. <laughs> Whose name is also not on the screen. Yeah, I'm not about the rules, folks. I'm about no rules just right. I'm the outback yeah. steakhouse of character performers. Okay, that's true of comedy. I think. I mean, I I also Schoikler has a whole other take in the comments that are all sketches, even when there's just one person. Think about that. This is just. I, this is like is Justin wearing a hat or a mask all over again, and I don't like it, folks. I'm not here for it. Uh, what, what don't you like about is Justin wearing a hat or a mask today? Because it's like whatever we... you just pick the most divisive. You're like you're just like the you're the you're the undecided voter. Of yeah, matter mask. Oh, oh, you don't like that debate? Well, welcome to the rest of my personality. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, folks. But yeah, we had a good one. There's a bunch of really, really good characters um, that we're pumped to show you. So don't forget to subscribe to that hot, hot YouTube page, folks. There will be more. Uh, very fun. Uh, our TikTok's been uh, back in the saddle. I just posted the uh, the uh, Beauty and the Beast Towns person um, who uh, finally goes off. Good. Out of town and uh, very fun hitting out there. Nice for the people. Fun story with that guy, Kevin. He just became a father, and he did a he did a farewell tour to drinking about a month ago, where he hit up as many bars as he could in New York City because he decided to stop drinking the day he became a father. Um, thoughts wow. on that? I feel like a lot of fathers start drinking when they become a father. <laughs> Maybe that's just my experience. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Wow, that's a hell of a way to go. Yeah, he's like he's done with it now. Um, very, very funny, super goofy, silly guy. Um, Jorge, Jorge Tech roasting you in chat, he says, with a bar over his shoulder. Uh, yes, exactly. I mean, this is this is called uh, daddy time, uh, it's a little uh, bedtime ritual to hit the bar. And speaking of what's happening in the private chat, um, Spencer Griffin, our um, former for rent producer, we should ban hats on the rectangle. Way too many hats. What is, what? What is it? What are these notes about our personal? I was catching a lot of heat for not being in costume. And this is, you know, I'm here being me, you know? I'm I think straight, I'm just pure. I think what we should actually do is every day 
we put on a hat with a little bit of a longer bill until our bills touch in the middle. Oh, sick. When, and there's a little spark. Sort of like when uh, uh, God and whoever's fingers are just about touching. Adam. There it is. Let me see. And, Get it up over there. God and whoever. Oh, no! It's becoming one! <laughs> Wait, can we do that real quick for a second? Can we see what we would look like if we were one? <laughs> there it is wow <laughs> we look pretty good i will say we look pretty good i look yeah. like the um you know there's people that like they're like i commuted to work for 40 years and i had the window rolled down in my car and now half of my face is like leather i'm that <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's like me that's me facing my laptop screen the front of me is just gonna be leather <laughs> while the back is just supple <laughs> Pure baby skin, you know? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, really, really good. Permanent they laptop, don't... man. Yeah, studies don't know what the what that blue screen actually does to you. Um, there will be an exactly. A24 movie about it soon. We have to do the research on the screen radiation and Ozempic and then eventually other important science. But those that's are true. the two big things. Those are the big ones. Those are the big ones, folks. And speaking of big ones, we have some of the best and the brightest character performers for you that tonight uh, on this or any side of the rectangles. What do you say we get started, Justin? What do you say we just... I we, think we, it's time. You know, we uh, we like to take our time and ease into it, but I think um, now it's go. It's a, it's a solid go. We're resetting our month. We've just done our live show. Now it's time to take a step back and look at what we've done, you know, and bring in some new energy. Let's bring in some new energy and let's bring in some a new wardrobe. Speaking of new hats, I'm really excited to to welcome out this first guest. I I, I believe that this is a clothing uh store. Is that true, Justin? What are you snobby? What are you high class? When we introduce this character, I think you first you're about to see a great piece, but um right before that, you're gonna judge Eric pretty hard. So let's really I'm enjoy not. that part of it. Uh, right. Please welcome to the rectangles a definite. Uh, a modern mythological creature, our, our today's chupacabra. Please welcome out the TJ Maxx Gremlin. Whoa! Why, hello, a young tween in a dressing room of a TJ Maxx. I'm the TJ Maxx Gremlin. I'm made out of discarded clothes and objects that people are too lazy to put back on the shelves. I change every day. I get my strength while your mom goes to grab you a different size to try on. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> ring, ring. Oh, hello. It's TJ and Max. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know him. I know him. I first came back to life in 1977 when Ralph left a little hat on top of Lauren's clearance purses. Everyone knows Ralph Lauren should stick to polo shirts. <laughs> Please leave. But I live here. You should leave. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I hear you're buying your first sports bra. That's a big deal. Girl power. Oh, oh, you're genderqueer. I'm so sorry. Misgendering a child on their sports bra day. That's a big deal. <laughs> well, Changing for gym class can be scary, but you came to the right place. TJ Maxx has sports bras as far as the eye can see. As long as your eye can only see past clearance board games, expired hard candies, and very encouraging tchotchkes. <laughs> <laughs> only $9.99, <laughs> that's a big deal. <laughs> Oh, you want me to leave? <laughs> well, speaking of, we have some generic leave artwork. <laughs> Ten dollars. Ten dollars normal retail price, $22.99. That's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're 12. So you don't have your own money and you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but 
TJ Maxx is my life. <laughs> you can go find me tissues between the Clarence Michael Kors fanny packs and the dust scented candles. <laughs> every aisle have a clearance rack. Every aisle is a clearance rack. <laughs> TJ Maxx is the happiest place on earth, my friend. Oh, you know, you really shouldn't wear yellow, for you have a true autumn complexion. <laughs> Try this green one. It'll make your chest look flatter, too, since you don't seem to want boobies. <laughs> oh, 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 that sports bra was my pancreas. Oh, but no worries. There, just give me that yellow one and I'll be replenished faster than you can say type 1 diabetes. <laughs> I will clothes, loathes my eyes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh! Well, look at you, ready for gym class with all of your queer little friends. <laughs> You're a big deal. Oh, I'll make a Maximista out of you yet. Now go get to buying and you make sure to tell everyone you got your bra at TJ Maxx. If people don't shop here, I turn into mothballs and die in a landfill. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Liz Coin, everyone. Liz Coin, everybody. Yay. Liz Coin, first off, best name in the biz. No, oh, come on. Best name Money in the, the bank. Name. Um, and second, just bringing that kickoff energy to the rectangles right now. Just love that, so, that somewhere in between, like a, uh, a, a children's storybook that's been uh, poured uh, Red Bull on top of it and an old timey uh, short film. Yes. <laughs> something. Well, and I, I, I don't know. I feel like there's some sort of darkness to this character as well. Yes. There's an insidiousness there that is, that's, that's deep. Right. I felt, yes. I, I felt, I felt medium unsafe at points. I was like, Ooh. there's nothing wrong with this character, you know? Yes. Now, In a different you, draft, she ate them. Yes. Uh, <laughs> her body, yes. Um, I have, I, I guess, two questions. Oh, well, first of all, I really identified with this because when I first, I'm a country bumpkin, when I first like went shopping at a mall, I was like, someone comes and takes the clothes back and puts them back on the shelf? Or is well, this all garbage? Ain't this just the fanciest? Uh <laughs> Stable I've ever been in. <laughs> Where's all the horse poop pucky around here? I uh, gotta say though, I stand TJ Maxx, and most of the things you saw in this scene are from uh, from TJ Maxx. Most of wow. the things in my life are from TJ Maxx. Me too. Uh, I love TJ. my lip filler. So. Uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, wow, Eric, trying to get back on the TJ Maxx bandwagon because uh, my second question <laughs> is about. Where do you have, why do you have all that stuff? Did you get that stuff for this or did you just have it? I just had it. Uh, Including yeah. the painting and all of that stuff? The painting existed in my roommate's room. She got it and hasn't hung it yet. Uh, this I've had for years, uh, unironically sits on my desk. Uh, that, that's good, yes. Great advice. Candy. Only two ninety nine. dollars big deal. Uh, cheap, cheap. I steal it twice. Expired hard candy is that is gross. That's that, that would be would acquire a, a, truly a decade of being. On so the is show. TJ Maxx? It's like a Marshalls, right? It's like a Marshalls. It's exactly like a Marshalls. Okay. In fact, they're sister stores. No. Yeah. Yes. 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 We should have done the duo in this one. I could have had Marshalls and TJ Maxx Gremlin. Wow! So, wow! But wait, then yeah. if they're the same store. Then why do they each exist? Aren't they just like the same thing? Oh, wow. Yeah, Capitalism cool. knocking on the door over here. <laughs> Hello. I have to also say that um, Jorge on tech it, prior to the show told me that he was a model 
a children's model for TJ Maxx when he was a kid. And he straight up did runway modeling for TJ Maxx clothing. So I had to I had to bring it up because I thought it was too good to not say. A, a runway model? Yes. At he runway place. modeled underpants at TJ Maxx. Wait, hold Wait, on. He was a so child. Good. He was a child underwear. They made a. They made like a small child run around in their under. Are you crazy? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I have so many. Was the I guess you don't even know the answer to this, Liz. But like, was no, the all I know is at TJ Maxx. Because runways aren't necessarily in the store where they're. And also, let me call out hilarious shot chaser from Schroekler here. Picks and then immediately never mind finding out it was a child in underwear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Picks. Wait a second. No. Never <laughs> ever mind. <laughs> Never ever mind. <laughs> so funny. Uh, well, I guess we just have a separate. We have a new segment uh, called "What the Fuck Is Jorge Talking About," which we're going to do later on uh, I mean, today. Jorge, if you're listening, which you are, you better be. You better be fucking uploading those pictures immediately. Yeah, or not if it's like a problem. <gasps> no. Wow. <laughs> That's a Maxinista right there. He's a big deal. Wow. <gasps> no. <laughs> no. 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 The second one is no. Get him in here. <laughs> I, I loved that speedo so much my mom bought it after that rut like that catwalk and i used it until i grew out of it no we had to buy it how That's many crazy. there's just like full ass adults walking like it was a it's, whole like i don't remember much but it was a whole speedo like you line don't remember thing. much I don't okay. remember. Much. Let me say, I will say that's a slow runway walk. I feel like everyone's taking their time. <laughs> like that. This is insane. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. We all have new, different chapters in our lives, and Jorge has a real fucked up one, it looks like. True, who knew? Yeah, I guess I was modeling underwear. I don't really remember large portions of it. Weird. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh liz liz you have any shows you want to plug or promote what do you got coming up yeah absolutely um i'm actually i'm um, doing my my first ever big solo show and i'm going to be premiering it at SoloCom at the pit on april 19th at 10 awesome. p.m um it's called lizzie sunshine and i'll be doing a full version of it uh later this summer fun that is awesome because solo con is like a slightly shortened version of show yeah of one person show. yeah i have 25 minutes for solo com for it and then it'll be a longer version uh later wow. in the summer solo com's a great thing to check the lineup of and go see a few things because it covers so much ground you see a lot of wild stuff at solo com so that's awesome and uh shouts to the character you did at our last characters welcome uh the twister board right thank you that was so fucking funny that's going on the TikTok, i think tomorrow as well hey thank you uh, it's yeah. such great. a great piece folks you can Thanks. find that on the that's on the youtube page right now um yeah. really really funny piece very very good um liz thank you so much for being here congratulations on getting that solo show up off the ground i know that, that is a huge task so great yeah. job in getting it. Hey, done. thank you. Uh, thanks, guys. And thanks for having me. This is always so fun. Of course. Anytime you want to come on, hop on. Let us know. Please come you. back anytime. All yeah. right. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Later. Bye. Fun, fun, fun. So fun. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I'll look up my underwear pictures, too, from when I was a kid. We're all doing this. Could you grab yours, Eric, as well? Should I grab my underwear pictures from when I was a child? Um, yeah, I don't from know. when you were walking. There it, is. <laughs> there it is. I have some insane pictures of me as a child when my mom took me. I, I have this crazy picture. Do you remember it? I don't know if it was at malls or where it was at, where like you would go get pictures taken as a kid and they would put you in like insane scenescapes. I have one where yeah. they have me dressed up. Like that. No, we already have that picture. We don't. You don't even have to like do that. Jorge can just throw it up. There it is. Well, I didn't want to call for it. It takes away the impact. That's Boom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who took the time uh, to do that? Hopefully AI. I think AI right. just did that live. They were like, you know what? Let's fix this guy. Dude, there's this new AI songwriting app that you put in a sentence and it gives you a one minute long song. Have you seen this? I have not. And I don't you don't know. want it. I don't, yeah. I don't want the, all the tricks. Uh, 
because it's you know it's a bad it gives me bad vibes it stresses yeah. me out about uh our human Everything. future as creatives yeah um, but uh everyone keeps saying like if you're this ai thing that completes your relationship with your partner it sort of finishes it up for you it's like what okay let me i'll give it a try oh no <laughs> it's <just> my place <laughs> oh fuck you're this oh, AI God. that just makes you feel good and complacent? Yeah. So weird. Yeah. Um, the AI, and I will say the one thing AI is not doing is making me feel complacent. It is maybe doing the opposite. No, it's the opposite. It's Hurry up and get rich is what the AI is telling me. It's begging <laughs> you to do it. You have to do it now. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. why I'm all in on this cryptocurrency stuff. You heard about this stuff? Oh. I think it's going to be. You're like one scam behind everyone else. <laughs> 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 You're like, hey, <laughs> have you heard about um, lotions that you um, sell to your friends? It's like Tupperware, except it's lotion. Yes, it's really good. Have you heard about this Amway? I heard it. Yeah. It's going to be huge. Um, yeah. Yeah, the AI shit is scary. Yeah, so I have this picture of me. My mom took me to like a photo place and she, I don't know why, she dressed me up like I'm a painter in like cover. I'm like, 10 years old in coveralls like covered in paint and the background is like a bunch of paint buckets and a ladder i feel like that shit was very common back in the day to dress kids up like cowboys and like really weird jobs do you know what i'm talking about yeah I, well I, I think like like oh i'm getting pictures of my kid it'd be like well it has to be like a little one-man show yeah <laughs> rather well, than just like oh, why don't we just take a cute picture well because pictures let's remember were special we didn't have pictures constantly being taken every day all the time. There was, was a like, time where it was very special. It's true. And you have to go and then you'd like weeks later, you get them back and you see if you did a good job or a bad That's job right. with the picture. <laughs> I am sending a, I'm sending maybe my oldest picture of myself to Jorge right now. We can, um, we can look at that later. Pretty oh, exciting. Nice. Wow. Um, wow, Jorge now putting AI generated jokes in the bottom of the screen. I will say these jokes that um, our uh, for rent producer um, Spencer has been working on are not, they are giving me comfort because they are, don't make sense and they make sense, they don't make sense in a bad way. But this one's about you, Eric. Why did the guy from Baltimore who loves puppets go to every show? Because he believed in giving every puppet a charm city chance to steal the spotlight that is i'm gonna say i'm gonna try to be very kind that is that is dog shit and i want to throw up reading that that's, how, that's me that's me right there look at me. that's very cute i also uploaded that's my baseball card jorge i sent you another one that is my stats on the back of the card um oh yeah, yeah i'd like to see how you were hitting back then everyone guess my height and weight um right because you are gonna you're gonna be wrong i'll tell you that right now wow i don't know this could be like three feet tall i think a solid 48 pounds would you say 48 pounds yeah three three four 34 34 <laughs> wow really wow, good great 34 pounds holy <laughs> shit <laughs> Hold on, tie Eric down. There's a strong breeze picking up. Are you allowed to weigh 34 pounds? Are you allowed to be outside when you weigh 34 pounds? <laughs> That's insane. That's they shouldn't crazy. weigh you. You shouldn't get weighed until you're like 17 or something. You shouldn't. <laughs> because I, you don't need yeah, to it's know. embarrassing. We don't need to know that someone's 3, 4, 34 pounds. Uh, Kathy L says, did you uniform say John Bon Jovi? Did you play for the Bon Jovis? I played, the, uh, John, uh, bon I played for the John Bon Jovi. I played for the John Bon. Bons. <laughs> yeah. It does look <laughs> like John Bon. Was it like a Mighty Duck situation where Bon Jovi got into a Bon Jovi does. <laughs> he believed yeah, us. We did, this, we did this crazy formation uh, to win every yeah. game. We jovi into the center. That yeah. The standing Jovi where you had yeah. to uh, just hit yeah. the ball really hard. Yep. That was it. Um, I That's, actually don't know what that is. Maybe it says lions. I don't know. Anyway, that was me. <laughs> uh, Justin, I really want to see a picture of you. Did they have, they had cameras. Yes. I have a couple of daguerreotypes of myself. Uh, oil paintings. Uh, <laughs> daguerreotypes. <laughs> uh, there it is. You have, a, you uh, have yeah. a few like 
there's a couple of magic lanterns of you um, running around the backyard. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, in horror movies where they have the zoetrope that spins around and it's really yes. freaky. That's my, that was my um, you, like <laughs> sixth grade photo. <laughs> Just out. light dancing, me doing uh, homework at a by candlelight. What a dream! What a dream! Um, Justin, what do you say we welcome on our next guest? What do you think? I think that's a fantastic idea. We always Wait, love to really clear it with the other. Yes, we have to just make sure that the other person's okay with it. I'm so excited for this next guest because there ain't nobody that's more in New York, baby. That's why I'm so yeah. excited for them. And what's interesting is, is that I've been in this city for 10 years now, and I have not visited this iconic uh, landmark. Yeah, um, I also haven't uh, visited it, but I get no it. Way. But you get it. Yeah. We all get it. I get, I get um, it. And, and not only do we get it, let me tell you, if we get it, this guy gets it. Please welcome to the rectangle, the Statue of Liberty's husband. Woo! New York City, folks, huh? Nothing better than sitting here on the Staten Island Ferry with a Central Park hot dog boiling in my stomach, my <laughs> pet pigeon on its leash, drinking a hot cup of broken coffee, which is, as we all know, is just dirt and toilet water mixed up and <laughs> heated up to a lukewarm but not too hot temperature. I just love this town, huh? How could I not? I'm married to the freaking Statue of Liberty, huh? People always ask me, hey, how did you meet a 151-foot-tall woman made of copper? <laughs> well, it's a classic story. My cousin Tommy actually works for her. He's the guy that cleans the uh, pigeon shit off of her neck. And he's like, hey, Bobby, you got to meet this green lady. So I did. <laughs> the thing with me is I've always been attracted to French copper women. <laughs> and uh, me and the statue, we had this whirlwind romance, dinner, dancing, kissing a giant, freezing cold lips. Ooh, I'll admit, the sex, it ain't easy. I'm not <laughs> personal here, but first off, she's mostly robes, so that's complicated. Second, she's holding a lit torch at all times, so I'm always burning my butt cheeks. <laughs> um, and the thing is, she can't take off her pointy hat, which is why I got one of these eyes is glass. <laughs> Good luck picking which one, because they're all going in gobbledygook directions. <laughs> gobbledygook. I mean, um, of course, me and uh, uh, Liberty, we have our problems. We got two kids that are a handful. One of them is that statue of Jesus in Rio de Janeiro. He takes after his mother, of course. And the <laughs> other is uh, Rudy Giuliani. So he's a real asshole, unfortunately. <laughs> um, uh, this one time. Uh, and every life, some rain must fall. So this one time. Lady Liberty, she she cheated on me with one of those pricks from Mount Rushmore. I'm not even sure which one, but I've never <laughs> trusted the sneaky little one in the middle. How do you respect an adult named Teddy? Uh, that's coming from a guy named Bobby. But <laughs> we made up. We made up. We're both getting older. I'm going gray. She's developing holes both in her physical form and metaphorically as the myth of American exceptionalism continues to fade. So <laughs> that sucks. Plus, um, she eats people. That's the thing. A little known fact, the Statue of Liberty survives by eating people from New Jersey. So <laughs> she ate Bruce Springsteen for breakfast this morning and everybody's pissed. <laughs> Justin, Tyler, everyone. Oh, boy, what a dream. Honestly, a movie where the Statue of Liberty comes alive at night and eats people? Why? 824, come on. Where are you? Yeah. <laughs> Those fuckers will make anything. Those fuckers huh? will make that movie. Um, oh, I love this piece so much, Justin. Really love this piece. Um, also, just One lets me. Face. Just reminds me every once in a while. It's really good to just to have a reminder once every couple months, like that. Rudy Giuliani is a, is a person. That guy is just yeah. around. A ghoul. He's like a he's a TJ Maxx goblin for all of New York City. It's true. He is. And just every once in a while, you they'll they'll be like, "Hey, remember Rudy Giuliani?" Here's the worst looking pants you've ever seen in your life on Rudy Giuliani. Okay, we'll see you in six months. <laughs> it's crazy. He, you know, everyone, like political cartoons, caricatures are always sort of exaggerating features. He started to out exaggerate the caricature business of him. He did. He anamorphed himself into some sort of new beast that's even worse. 
It's yeah, crazy. some horrible, horrible beast. Um, um, but, Taylor uh, in the private chat says, remember him in Seinfeld? Rudy was in Seinfeld? Uh, I don't, I don't remember that. Um, but, and I've seen all those Seinfelds, uh, oh, the non-fat frozen yogurt. Yeah. He was like a quick little cutaway, wasn't he? he I don't know, but he was the mayor then. So he was like, oh, yeah. oh he, uh, Taylor, he gave a speech at the end. Wow. Wow. About his cholesterol. About his cholesterol. Cool. And then little did we know that the yeah. darkness, the darkness would take him. Um, rising. Folks, if you uh, want, I, if you want, oh, go ahead, Justin. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, if you would like for the darkness to not take us for another week, you can always donate to our Venmo. Um, yeah. We have a Venmo account. It's at Characters Welcome. It is on the business side of things because we are, we are company stools. We have sold out, baby, to big Venmo. So <laughs> send, us bucks, send us two bucks and get this. Whatever you send us, put some words with it. We're going to say those words. We will say we're them. Say words. We're going to say them. So Actually, put anything you want. In fact, we have a segment, and we have, a, let me say, two segments where we are going to read aloud some um, some words uh, that our uh, frequent donators have said. The first one, uh, Robin Richmond, a longtime listener, a longtime donator, with a little segment that we call Jeer Jire. Jeer Jire. Jeer Jire, what's the best kind of muffin, and why is it blueberry? Um, that's just good advice. Uh, at the, Is that at the it? Beginning. That's it. That's it. I I, I beg to differ. Oh, wow. I'm a big fan of. Um, uh, is it banana and walnut? What is that called? Just a banana walnut? Banana nut. Banana nut. I really like banana nuts. <laughs> <You don't... laughs> I like. I don't know what's this banana. What's this? Nut? What's this thing that is steak and mashed potatoes? What is that called? I don't um, like bananas when they've been cooked or prepared in some way or like you in, in their runt form. You <laughs> I don't mind. like any, any non just fresh banana peeled home. You don't like banana bread. You're not a banana bread man. Ah, get it. I prefer zucchini bread. What about all right, different conversation, but what about what about Simple. chunky monkey ice cream? Get out of here. We're one of the worst ice creams. No. One of the worst ice creams by far. Let's not. This is our. I sense an apple clash coming. Uh, what's that's your like favorite, the ones, What's your number one Ben and Jerry's flavor? Um, I, you know, I'm gonna go half baked. I know that's a basic, basic answer. There's too uh, much going on. It's too loud. That is a loud. <laughs> ice cream. Uh, you gotta live, live loud. You and your chunky monkeys can go be the last at the bottom of the freezer in the bodega. It's like chunky monkeys and rum raisin are the only thing hanging around down there. Rum raisin is bad. My two favorites are I like chunky monkey and I like uh, cherry Garcia. Another good one. Wow. Yeah, but it's because you're a deadhead, man, and you will ride for anything that cherry. <laughs> That's why I like cherry man. Garcia. I love it. Cherry Garcia never stops the jam, you know? Dude, me and, and the boys. Playing. Did Stop I ever tell you on. at. But pre-pandemic, my bar at Threes, the owner was a deadhead. And I, on Wednesdays, I worked every Wednesday, and it was Grateful Dead Night. And him and his friends would get so high that their hands didn't work and would stand at the corner of the bar, and they would DJ Grateful Dead Night, which was just like seven dudes in their early 50s standing – like seven white dudes in their early 50s standing around one computer. And they would play these songs, and it was always the longest – night of my life because you couldn't tell when a, one song ended and the other began and so you'd be like dude it did did two hours pass or have eight minutes passed because it's just yeah. the same fucking thing over and over again we only press play once tonight man that's how sick it is it was horrible it's all it, one song it was horrible uh, this is a perfect time to bring about our second segment, which is um, Trolley Tickets present, Z Corps Zeppelin presents Stoned Thoughts. Oh, man, what? Okay, we're getting better with that, Jorge. Right? We're finding something there. <laughs> That's sure. very good. I love that. Um, it is Wednesday, my dudes. It's Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday to the beat. Watch him Wednesday to the beat. It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, someone up. having to having to switch the roach between each hand so that they can type out <laughs> finish the, oh, what they're saying. <laughs> I, know, I, mean, I think capacity in the words. 
It um, is Brian, It is Wednesday, my dudes, and that's true. I feel like this is we could ask uh, your AI to make that into a song because it's right there. Should I? Should I do an AI song called "It Is Wednesday"? No. My dudes. Okay. No, we do have Spencer uh, in the comments. He's got created an AI ice cream flavor for me to be or not to be a delicious blend blend of peanut butter and chocolate ice cream inspired by the Bard himself, Shakespeare. It's such a first idea, Chat GPT. Yeah, that's lazy writing. And you're a computer, so time doesn't fucking matter. So grow up, chat. <laughs> grow up, chat GPT. Jorge, in the private chat, said something very interesting and probably frightening. I've been high exactly one time. Normally, when someone's been high exactly one time, that's because a disaster occurred. Something yeah. very bad happened. He woke up and realized he was on stage in a, his underwear modeling. At <laughs> he was like, holy shit. He gained awareness. He gained <laughs> self-awareness at age eight. <laughs> Coming down, <laughs> ketamine drip. Oh my god, Spencer. Uh, what do you say? Should we bring out our next character? I think we might as well, folks. We might as well. We've gotten through all the difficult stuff, the the asks for the money, and the the talks <laughs> about the drugs. <laughs> I know what a trial. We've pushed our boulder up the mountain yet again this week. Have we? All right, folks? all right, all right, sissies. All right, sissy fissies. Let's welcome our next guest out. I am so excited for this next person because I, I for a while was a staple of this place. I was there. Me and my, oh, me and my okay. Me, me and my madrigal choir would sing every year here. Um, that's that's fun. I went to a Renaissance fair once and I was like, ooh, I could buy those boots. They were like, they're a thousand dollars. And I was like, I'll never wear these boots except for right now. And I bet they will smell bad immediately. Did you buy <laughs> them? That was my, no, I didn't. <laughs> um, I can't believe that you've only been to the Renaissance fair once because that, that let's put that picture up just one more time. This guy yeah. was fucking born at the Renaissance fair. Tra la la. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. You've been to the Renaissance Fair exactly one time. No wow. fucking chance. Being a Shakespearean actor for like five years is sort of like living a Renaissance Fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's welcome now to the Rectangles a woman at a Renaissance Fair. Yeah! <laughs> Good morrow, kind sir. I be Taylor of the House Graves. <laughs> what a glorious day it is at this, the fair of Renaissance in the Vanial of Pencil. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a turkey leg, delicious. Now, doth thou taketh billion or silver? Cash or credit? Pray tell, what? Listen, Greg, we've been through this. <laughs> you know I come to this fair every year. I take a week off work. I expect historical accuracy. No, <laughs> no, you gotta let me have this. You gotta let me have this, Greg, okay? You gotta get this together, man, okay? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you the silver. <laughs> Jubilee. Now that the subject of payment is settled, <laughs> prithee, I'm having trouble placing thou accent. Areth thou of the Birkenshires? The Teenex? The Freeholds? <laughs> you're still in high school and you're just trying to save up money to buy a flying drone for your TikTok video? Duh! Greg, can you please just go <laughs> along, okay? Can you use an accent? Just pick one, anything out of thin air, cockney, sure, fine, moving on. Ah, my lord. <laughs> I be parched. Prithee, fetch the bar wench to quench my thirst. Mm -hmm. Wench, quench, <laughs> bar wench. <laughs> wench <laughs> a cosmopolitan Boleyn. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, dry war of the roses. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, aha, okay. Barley wine. <laughs> Huzzah. What kind? And off with her dogfish head, 120 minute IPA served in a dishwasher safe goblet. <gasps> oh, my God. This is all wrong. Can you serve something real in real mud pots? God, what? Period is your pink hair supposed to be from. Can't you do the very least and wear a wig? I mean, 
pink hair is fine and I appreciate self-expression in the exterior world, but in here, can't we just be period appropriate? Okay. <laughs> I have not washed my hair in anything but bacon fat and licorice for five months to prepare for this. <laughs> so please just do me a favor and cover it up with this burlap sack. I don't care. <sighs> a bard. Bard. <laughs> Huzzah. <laughs> a bard. I cry your mercy. Might you regale me with some tunes of yore? Perchance the story of the good knight, or the famed fable of the fair maiden in the meadow. <laughs> oh, you have a harp cover of Taylor Swift's Cruel Summer? Okay. <laughs> what about the classic, ye merrily, oh, we postules be weeping? <laughs> <laughs> you have a lute rendition of Weezer's Holiday in the Sun? God damn it, no. Okay. <laughs> I, I have tried to be patient, but enough is enough. Do you have anything that's historically accurate? I am caught betwixt reason and insanity. And I fear I'm slipping towards insanity, okay? I <laughs> magic. I expect <laughs> commitment. This is my life. I have also not washed this open wound on my person for months. And it is <laughs> because antibiotics, who? Okay. These are my Oscars. I was blacklisted. <laughs> I was blacklisted, okay, from Sturbridge Village for drinking a Pepsi and thinking the witches were inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was put on the do not admit list in medieval times for screaming at the cars in the parking lot for not being there. And I was put on the wanted list at Colonial Williamsburg for releasing plague rats. <laughs> you know how hard it is to even find plague rats, okay? You have to infect them with the bubonic plague and then have them shipped overseas. And we all know how horrible customs is. I go through this upheaval and I just expect a little commitment from the employees just to commit to the bit for an hour or two, okay? <laughs> I'm just trying to make your fare better. It wouldn't have never been this way if I had just, if you had just hired me, but I'm sorry that my resume wasn't accepted because it was delivered by Falcon and it attacked Janet, the program manager. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're going to kick me out, at least do it correctly, okay? Send some knights in and behead me. Fine, I'll leave. <laughs> Farewell. Anon. <laughs> Hi, Uber. Uber, you're here. Okay, silver Toyota, Toyota Corolla. Okay, uh, pick me up two blocks away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Taylor Graves, everyone. Taylor Graves, everyone. Uh, playing it straight when it comes to... <laughs> Love that it. Real, real commitment to the art. Love it. I mean, some people are like that. When you go to those things, some people are fucking, they're in it, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you're, you can see when something's going wrong, the slow, like, panic set in in the eyes of, like, oh no, I'm going to have to acknowledge reality briefly to fix this situation. <laughs> oh, so funny. Really, really funny. <laughs> There's just yeah. so many weird things that Jorge has access to now. It's almost frightening. Yeah. Uh, Taylor, are you a Renaissance Fair um, visitor? Like, I hate to say this, but not really. But I just, I just like, I, I'm, I'm like, um, maybe an aspirational one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I love different times and I love dressing up clearly. So I feel like I just haven't really like gotten the chance, the opportunity. Yeah, if you, you love times and you love dressing up, this shit is in the pocket, deeply there, in the yeah. pocket for you. I, I'm gonna have to go and be this lady because yeah, you have you have the wardrobe's like half the battle. I think. It's true. Oh yeah, I, I feel like I've got even. Yeah, I could, I could, I could, I could put something together. Yeah, I mean, uh, now, whole, Eric, I, what was it go. like with Madrigal Choir? Were you in costume? Yeah, we were in costume the whole time. Um, we finally were like, we're not losers for the next, for the next two hours. We're not losers. We're kings. We're, like, we're kings. Uh, <laughs> oh, cool. Like-minded people. The whole thing was a, a huge, the Renaissance Fair is just a huge scam. The whole thing. Yeah. It's, uh, it's all. Now just, you're down on it. It's just a huge money. And I, I know I'm becoming like Mr. Money, but it's a huge yeah. money grubbing thing. <laughs> you I'm, are. Folks, I'm becoming Mr. Money because I had the gall to complain that I did tea time in Manhattan and it cost $720. Uh, 
Uh, it was oh, great that's... because it, it's you. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say that's insane. Go, that's you insane. go, Justin. It was insane, and I will say though, as soon as you started talking about, it, I was like, he's gonna complain about how much it costs. I can feel it. So <laughs> it was hard. It was hard for me to not get ahead of you there. I heard it in your tone. Yeah, I knew. You know, but, uh, at Renaissance Fair, no more of a money grab than a regular fair, right? Mayhaps a bit. Um, now, did you did you speak when you were there? Were you like pretty? Yeah, dude. Voice? We were, Shall we go to the watering hole and <laughs> yeah. scope out the elder uh, female? Be be bequeath upon us to to try to to purchase some beer under age. Yeah, that was us um, the whole time. But it's like there's like if if you're a couple, if you're like holding hands with someone at the fair, someone comes up to you with these like metal forged roses that cost like 80 bucks. And they're like, they're like, wow, what a beautiful woman with you. Wouldn't it be so embarrassing if she were to leave without this rose? And like, the dudes are like <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll buy this thing for you. That's like the whole situation is like, how do we get as much money as we can out of your pockets as quickly as possible? Ah, uh, yes. The cut purses are amongst us out there. <laughs> Maybe I'm sure not. Heels. What's that? Maybe it's fun. Maybe it's fun. I also I also never went as a as a legally able to drink adult, which I think would That'd maybe make it a million times more fun. Big factor. Uh, I did go to e medieval times. I realized I lied before. That's not really the same thing, but I've been to medieval times like a, a couple times. Medieval times, yeah. very fun. Very fun. Very fun. Is it really? I well, feel like I could really. Voice. Yeah, very, yeah. I feel like I could really slip off the edge into these activities, and then you'd be like, <laughs> "Justin, you missed the live stream." I was like, "Yes, I, I was in my smithy shop, uh, sharpening my rapier and dagger for my uh, exposition tomorrow at the great fair." So, um, I yeah, might maybe believe we should this. Keep you away from that shit. Blacksmith, yeah, exactly. Justin. Okay. We exactly. probably should keep you away from that. You are, Can you are. If, if if nothing else, Justin, you're kind of a tinkerer, and I think that these types of spaces are bad for you. Yeah, yeah, they're exactly. only going to enable you to continue to tinker. <laughs> I know, exactly. I'm in too deep immediately. Tinker Taylor, soldier. Tinker Taylor, Justin Tyler. Tinker, yes. tinker Tyler. <laughs> tinker Tyler. Tinker Tyler. <laughs> tinker Tyler. Soldier. <laughs> We're getting there. We I can, um, and I'm Taylor, so I can be in there somewhere. Tinker Taylor, Tyler. Yeah, yeah good. <laughs> really good. Um, sure. Taylor, what do you have to, to plug or promote? You got anything going on? I do. I've got, um, I'm doing a, a drinking game version of Toy Story at the Bell House on April 12th. Um, that's a Friday. Um, super fun. I just did Mean Girls. It was really fun. Um, yeah, fun. fun. Uh, and you know, I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to be a character's welcome, um, but I couldn't. Yeah. Um, but how it goes. Uh, this is on the 12th of April at eight o'clock. I'm playing Bo Peep and Andy's mom <laughs> and an alien. <laughs> so really fun. That's uh, great. Bo, Bo Peep, fun. strong role right there. That's strong great. role. Um, and uh, and then, um, sorry, wow. And then the 19th, actually so funny, Liz just uh, uh, promoted SoloCom. I'm doing um, eight, the eight to nine slot the same night so it's april 19th um i'm doing a 10 minute 10 minute thing so you're yeah. up right before liz yeah Fun. what a great double bill folks power hour go check it out like just do yeah. it yeah it'll be so fun we'll all just hang out um that's very that's fun. huge yeah very so. fun be fun. It's a cool. just a bunch of my characters I'm putting together, and a lot of them are based on all the jobs I've had. So you know, yeah, great. I love that's that. The, that's the theme. It's like you know, whoever you meet. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's awesome. great. That's awesome. Yeah. Very very cool. Yeah, I can see that through through line in your TikTok um, Instagram. Uh, that's I see now. I see the picture coming into shape. That's it. yeah. I I think it's very work in progress. I'm trying to like add a couple more other people in but yes thank you justin it kind of the idea actually came about from that i was like what are these yes. these are all these are all somewhere in my they're knocking around in my brain somewhere and it's all because of i've had so many insane jobs yeah, yeah. they've ruined your life so now you're absorbing them into your work yes and my current boss is one of the most viral ones uh 
Oh, that's problematic. That's dangerous. <laughs> it's slightly <laughs> terrifying because it's like not the best. <laughs> oh no! And, well, but now let me ask you: Are you revisiting it because of its popularity? She, yeah, because when I do her live, it also gets the same response. Like it's just, it's just one of those. It's just a good one, I think. It's just like it's one line that just, it just. Yeah, you can't let that go. I can I'd, your... I'd rather get fired. I'd rather get fired. That's so funny. And what is your boss's first and last name? <laughs> yeah, and just give or the LinkedIn uh, link, or just where you work and what what position, um... what, what else <laughs> you're in. Uh, office office number office uh, max. Um, okay, good. 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 you're the uh, you you're the person that keeps Marshalls and TJ Maxx separate, right? Yeah, that's like um, it's your job to, to keep them from combining. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, Taylor, thank you so much for being here. Uh, so lovely to see you. Your characters are always so much fun. I'm so, so excited. A bunch of good stuff coming up. Um, that drinking game looks so much fun. I uh, gotta get myself out there. You gotta come. It's truly, truly, really fun. We'll all hang. It'll be a party. Um, yeah. And I'm also party doing the uh, characters um, class. This character was born in your in your class, Eric. So, folks, wow. take those character classes. Take them, dude. Put in the work. Taylor did. Um, awesome. Uh, we will see you soon, Taylor. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thanks, Taylor. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Fun. Um, and I heard word from the nerd that drinking game after they do Toy Story. Get this, folks. And and Justin, you can aud we can audition for this. They're doing Shrek. Uh, They're doing Shrek after Toy Story. Wow. What roles do you think are available? Donkey. Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> the one part we shouldn't do. Donkey. Yeah. Well, he doesn't say that. That's Shrek who says it that way. I'm not impersonating Donkey. Donkey. Everyone. Donkey. I told, the guy, I told the guy who runs it. I know the guy who runs it. And I was like, hey, man, if you uh, if you need a Farquad, if you need a Farquad for the next Shrek, let me know. He goes, and I, 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 I shit you not. I, I go, yeah, perfect. I was like, if you need a Farquad, let me know. Thinking he'd be like, oh, dude, awesome. He goes, he goes, well, you can audition for sure, dude. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> That's great, man. You got an inside track. I have an inside track to audition just like everyone else. Yeah. Pretty uh, Taylor says in the comments, come to Toy Story and woo the casting people. Network, Eric. And you can play your dream role of Farquaad. I don't have to network. I know the guy. I know the guy. He works at threes with me. That's oh, wow. That's, well, it um, feels like you could be networking all the time. I should always just be networking with him. But the idea of him doing Shrek, I, I love that. That would be so much fun to do. I don't really know what the format of the show is. We should maybe go. We should go to the Toy Story one, Justin. Bring your kids. I bet it'll be okay. Yeah, they love that. They love to watch Daddy drink. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Justin, why don't you go ahead and transition us into the the very final part of the night? No problem. Uh, oh, sorry, just real quick uh, to, to get a little inspiration from an acting point of view. Am I doing it in the Eric way or are we doing it in the Justin? I wouldn't have asked you to do it in the my way. You just think that you're oh, you want me to do. I want you to sh just do it because my way just apparently sucks so much that you should just. I'm not do trying it. To, this isn't like a. Uh, I'm not trying to make uh, you. I don't want to. I don't want to yuck your yum. You know. I want you to just yum it up when you want to yum it up. We do your your two pieces of news. We do the the tickaloos and all that. Just the ha -ha, the two just put me out of my. Just take me out back and shoot my rectangle. And do wow. do your thing, okay? Um, uh, a little, real quick, Lulu Lime. I realized like last year his name is supposed to be Fuckwad. Um, no, um, it's Fuhrer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know. <laughs> That's a banger, Eric. Bring it up. That's it. That's, I can't out hype that. You can't. <laughs> We got we got one last character coming your way right now. This guy is has been sitting here in the rectangle. He's about to own the much larger rectangle. He's bringing the heat. He's coughing into his elbow. That, that's he's how you know he's ready. <laughs> he's only yawned once, but I have finished my beer through the whole show. Shouts <laughs> to the guy. Shouts to the boy. He's our fuckwad. He's our farquad. He's our fur. <laughs> Please welcome out to the rectangles. Time for another boring mass. <laughs> So 
Schönes Mädchen, komm doch noch rüber. Schönes Mädchen, lass mich nie wieder. Komm schon, schönes Mädchen, komm doch mal. Dang, Mass was supposed to start three minutes ago. Hashmark fail, Hashmark cringe. Am I right, fellow young people? I mean, I just want to worship God, the original content creator. But <laughs> I feel like the Catholic Church church has gotten boring and unrelatable to us young money influencers. I mean, there's no way someone could take my religion and make it dank and fire emoji 100 emoji. <laughs> or, or is there? I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got all of you. Look, good morning, congregation. It's me. It's me, Youth Pastor Joe, <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> Little Priesty. <laughs> yeah, here I am. I'm here again. Go ahead and hit that Cheryl. Yeah, go ahead. Love that. Thank you so much. Now, I'm coming at you with a brand new rap set. This one's from a 13 to 17 demographic. Because I'm going to take a truth. Now, among the youth, so Oh, that's squad. We're swiping to the right for my friend God. Before Snapchat and Vines and Tweets, my man JC took to the streets. He preached the word of OMG, and his eyebrows were on fleek. With God, you read just what you sow. You don't believe? Come at me, bro, cause up in heaven, angels fly. It's dank as faith, and there's Wi-Fi. This mic is hot. These beats are right. We're smoking on the organ pipe. We help the sick and the poor as well. Unbaptized babies go to hell. <laughs> now, I, I know that that's not a very popular opinion, but we're not going to budge on that one, okay? So how about a call and response? <laughs> when I say church, you say lit. Church. Church. Lit. When lit. I say science, you say lies. Science. Lies. When I say we don't, you say pay tax. We don't. We don't. When I pass the basket, you put money in it. God will know if you don't. Wow, Pastor Joe, that rap was fresh. This wine is blood. This bread is flesh. Let's do a dance that's hip and fab. The Father, Son, and Holy Dad. Let's say a prayer upon the cross. The Father, Son, and Holy Floss. Let's thank the Lord for all his works with the Father, Son, and Holy Twerks. All right. Wow. That was fun, right? That was fun. Maybe church ain't so bad after all, huh, Pastor Joe? <laughs> all right. Slide that one into your DMs or whatever. All right. Now, okay, we do have a quick announcement before we get started. Today is Father Justin's last day with us. Now, let's give him a big hand, okay? 38 years of service to Christ. Thank you, Father Justin. Thank you so much. Oh, he isn't retiring. Uh, we're moving him to a new parish because he molested a bunch of boys in underwears at TJ Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Pure ending <laughs> closing out the show with a giggle. Closing out the show with a callback he discovered in the moment. I think. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Wow, look at him go. <laughs> uh, uh, that's that's a great piece. It's squeezing a you're squeezing jokes into every corner. Take a hit off that organ pipe. Damn, yeah, I tell you what, I sped it up a little bit. I was like, I can handle that. And I very nearly couldn't handle it. it was, I, yeah, I felt it getting a little... It was, it was bucking you. It was like, who's who's actually... Am I doing the rap or is the rap doing me? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> That's how everybody in the game feels, you know? Yeah, it's true. It's true. In the hip -hop. I was like, holy fuck, this is fast. Um, Very yeah. fun. Um, Very fun. I do want to, Kathy says, keep it updated. It's true. It's an old piece. I do want to keep it updated. I was trying to, to be completely honest with you, this is going to, I'm going to sound older than I've ever sounded in my life. I was looking for words that rhymed with mew because I wanted to put mewing into this. Have you heard about mewing, mm -hmm. Justin? Uh, no. You don't know Please, what that is? Tell. Chat, do I we know what mewing that. is? Uh, private yeah, chat They'll take well. a minute. Anyone? Are we all too old for that? Uh. Uh, Liz Coin, of uh, course, Liz Coin, you're up to date with Mew. Yeah. Kathy knows. Um, Kathy's in on it. Just tell us. We'll quit playing a game. Mewing, Good. Justin, is the, the kids these days, the, 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 the new thing for kids to like be like, I'm ugly, I'm hideous, is that they don't like their jaw lines. And mm. so there's this there's this way of like putting the tongue at the roof of your mouth and like stretching your jawline and strengthening it so that you can, you have to keep your mouth closed. 
you're kind of like sucking on your tongue as it's up in the top of your mouth a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it makes your jawline very pronounced. And so kids are telling te teachers are trying to ask kids questions in high school and they're going, they're like, I can't answer. I'm mewing right now. Oh, wow. Well, I could have guessed that, I guess, if you asked me. <laughs> you got some good mewing? Look at that. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a fucked up picture to show a mewing. In. <laughs> that poor See, bastard on the left is Jorge. <laughs> Jorge, can you just Google search live for us right now? Um, uh, Monsters Inc. Sully mewing. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at Boo. Look at Boo. Look at the fifth image. There's Boo mewing. Boo mewing. <laughs> wow. Wow, man, that I'm that sorry. really gets you. That makes me. These makes me laugh so hard. That's oh. really funny to draw. That wow, that is a jack, Sully. <laughs> anyway, that's what the kids are doing these days. Um, Jorge, why don't you bring us in and tell us about the first time you ever had. Um, uh, weed, the first and last time you ever smoked weed. <laughs> a lot of, really laying a lot at Jorge's feet. Really, really just threw me to the wolves, huh, buddy? Yeah, let's see. Uh, all right, so I, I, I didn't, I didn't smoke until I was uh, in my in my mid late twenties because the Dare program worked on me. I was the only kid that it that it worked on. Yes, yeah, so you were smoking. Um, wow. Terrible, like, terrible anxiety anywhere like weed was involved, and if I wasn't like near it, I was terrified I was going to get busted by the cops or something. Uh, wow. But I go to I, uh, take a trip to Colorado, uh, hang out with some friends there. It is legal there now, which kind of alleviates the fear. And then, uh, uh, yeah, we I, they roll one up for me, and I take one hit, and the wind picked up and blew the ash into my eye. As, that was if, the, uh, as if the Lord's hand itself yeah. was swatting. No. You got smited by God one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. Horrible. Yeah. Yeah. We must keep you pure sense. for your beautiful underwear butt to be walking the <laughs> runway. I think I told the story on stream before, but one like the second or third time I ever got really high, like actually high because it takes a couple times, I had also eaten sushi and I smoked so much okay. that I threw up. And I was convinced that I was there were bugs in the weed that I had ingested that I was throwing up. And my friends. Oh, wow. Had to talk me off the edge. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm puking maggots. I'm talking to dogs. They're like, that's rice. <laughs> wow, were you, were you like tripping? That's very extreme. The weed was different back in the day, man. Seeds and stems. Not, it was different. weaker. Yeah, weed, it was only weird. getting. It was not stronger. <laughs> I mean, that's why I don't. That's why I don't smoke now because I'm afraid that seeds and stems made me think that rice was bugs coming out of my body. So yeah. I don't know. Uh, the two stories I have are, uh, I, the first time I came to New York when I was in college, we, um, I'd never smoked out of an ice bong before where, um, it chills the, uh, the weed smoke. And then, so it gets in your lungs and expands like a, like a menthol. So it, literally, <laughs> it literally pushes itself harder into your body. Holy so shit. we all did that. And then we went to, to the movies and we tried, we stood at the, or trying to get popcorn and a soda for so long that the teenager had to be like, I'm sorry, you have to leave the line. You guys can't figure out what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and then we sat in the front row of the movie and we we're very scared. And then um, the, the first time I did shrooms in college, one guy lost it and truly like sort of broke his brain forever. But he, we wow. came, came back to the dorm and we were having a blast. And everyone was like, oh, you guys just like to have a good time. They're like, go to Roy's room. We went to Roy's room and he would had been naked, jumping around his room. He called his two ex-girlfriends and they both came over. <laughs> and I was like, yo, no wonder he freaked out. <laughs> oh, both of his ex-girlfriends. That's so fucked up. That's I, let me, damaging. Let me tell one story. I've also told this on stream, but I, I love telling a story. I, did, I, did sal I used to do salvia back in the day. Oh, was, that, was that what you could get from like 7-Eleven? Yeah, it was legal, and it, dude, whoever, it, it, should, it, it should have been a felony to have made it. That shit, so we, we were like 17 years old at um, Ocean City, Maryland um, on senior week, 
and we couldn't get weed, couldn't get alcohol. We were like, I guess we'll just do this thing that is seven times more intense than that. That's allowed for us to have right now. We went and bought like 500 X salvia. It used to be like a number X was how powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did. It did my salvia. And the t if, if for anyone who hasn't done it, the time it takes you to take the pipe away from your mouth and hand it to someone, you are just, a, you are living a different life. And it feels like it's like five minutes long and it feels like you're, you're in it for like a year and a half. It is so fucked up. So I smoked the shit. I, I like handed it off. I was like, whoa, so weird. Like had this effervescent thing. I came out of it and I was like, I was like, wow, that was really fun. And my two friends go, really? Was it fun? I was like, why? They go, because you were screaming at the tops of your lungs. Everyone is a machine. We're all cogs in the machine. <laughs> I believe that so hard. Yes. Here it is, baby. Uh, yeah. I think we legally can't have that on screen for longer than five seconds. Yeah, we have to for our own safety and, and well-being. I right. I think the three of us, based on our conversation, just need to just sit down and get really high together. The and three of us really get, get, would love that. To do a 200x salvia. We, it'll be over in 10 minutes. Whatever happens, it'll be over in 10 minutes. And so why not? You mean our lives? Yeah. We'll <laughs> our dead. entire lives? We will be dead within 10 minutes. So we might. Yeah. Well. Sign me up. Justin, how long have you do you still smoke off and on, Justin? Uh, rare. I in as I as my, I continue to age, I get hungover when I smoke, and I don't. I I am very rarely get hungover from alcohol. But the next day after I like smoke a bunch of weed, I'm in a fog, and that's yeah. just bad. A for work reasons, but also B as a parent, it's hard to wake up and be like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> so <laughs> I'm definitely backed up the uh, wow <clears throat> all right and i haven't smoked in like five years and jorge for you it's been since god told you not to do it anymore yeah since god was like absolutely not yeah and like, all right buddy well, maybe we should do a little a little smoky stream that could be really fun it could I'm be sure fun be, yeah. i'm yeah. sure it'll be very watchable and digestible for everyone yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll love it <laughs> yes i i definitely think that uh Z Core would be excited about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Z Core's in yeah. on. Yeah, Z Core, we know. We have a whole, yeah, we, we have a whole <laughs> segment. We have a segment for you about how you smoke weed. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, Z Core. <laughs> yeah. The second time yeah. I got stoned, I thought I was Lawrence of Arabia. That's a great high. Oh my oh. God. What fun, guys. What fun. We've um, had some fun here tonight. We really had a good time, folks. Um, we are here every Wednesday. Um, we have a YouTube page that's going to have some new duo characters on it sooner than later. Justin just teased Liz Coyne's uh, video is going to go on our TikTok pretty soon. We want to thank everybody man. who's involved. We want to thank Sarah Smallwood Parsons. We want to thank Spencer Griffin. Uh, we want to thank that little for rent sign that's down there on the bottom right-hand corner. Yeah. Bink. If you press it, something weird happens in your life. That's true. <laughs> it is. True. I'm. I'm. I'm being told. I'm being told to put Taylor back on. Put Spencer on too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mr. All right. Big They're now. both coming in. Here they, here they are. Sorry, you're seeing my horrible. I ha I was just like going crazy in the private chat because I was I had the same experience on Salvia, Eric. <laughs> Everyone's a machine. Let's go man. tell that story. Everyone is a machine. You thought the world was a machine? Everything. I thought the world, I thought the TV was the yellow brick road um, for real. And I thought that like the remote and like the wires and stuff was a, was a munchkin. And, <laughs> um, and it's one of those things where when people tell me that I'm like, oh yeah, did you really like, come on. And I'm like, no, like it, it transforms, you know. You um, know, people have not done salvia before. They don't understand they don't how not it. allowed this shit should be. It and I was like, we were, like, we were responsible. Okay. Like, we sat in a circle in college and we did it one by one. We were not responsible, but we thought we were. We're like, each person trips on their own. <laughs> yeah. Everyone keeps track of That's everyone true. else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I'm really high, I want, I want six uh, babysitters. Yeah. And for yeah. me, I have no one to relate to. 
that's really I remember thinking like I was like oh I, I was great I had so much fun I was laughing and they were like you kept being like I'm in a pool and I'm soaking wet and I'm dying and I was like no I was having a great time though <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucked up I love the sensation of ruining someone else's night and not realizing it so I'm definitely <laughs> gonna get on this yeah did you um, know what you did Justin? just what I want to come down to yeah yeah you did this you said I've I've gotten that talk, but I, it was it was a it was just after a night of drinking, real a lot, a lot. I've had that right. talk. Yeah, right. I did that one time. Yeah. Peter and love. We're it was not mine. One time, I did come home drunk. This was with an ex partner, and I made a pot of coffee at three forty five in the morning. And gotta get up. Um, apparently, I gotta get up. And then I fell asleep on the bathroom floor, but with my feet against the door and my head against the tub and so she <laughs> there was no way for her to get into the bathroom and she and i was dead asleep and she was like losing her mind thinking that i like found myself in the bathroom or something like trying to get in desperately and i was asleep <laughs> that's so funny that's so annoying to finally get in there and be like oh you were just fucking cash out you fuck. <laughs> Rightfully, oh, you're fine. I have never, no one has ever been angrier at me than she was so mad at me, and it was so deserved. I like made a pot of coffee and then literally like locked my body in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, so fucked. No, up. I, uh, I, I, I got up in the middle of the night. I was staying at her house. This was an ex partner. She has tile floors. I got up. I climbed over her out of the bed, walked over to her closet, and just peed. No. And since it, it splashed up and she was a public defender. So I got all of her like very nice legal clothes. Just got it all. Oh, my and God. I had no recollection. God, Jorge, that's <laughs> really bad. Yeah, I that one, why yeah, these that are the exes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. so yeah. weird. They just didn't yeah. understand. Well, you know what, Taylor? At the end of the day, they were crazy. They were the <laughs> bad nose. <laughs> They, no problem. They based were on this story. Yeah. They had to do a lot of digging, you know, a lot of self betterment. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. now me, I was perfect when I was pissing in her drawers. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly who I was and what I wanted, and what I wanted was to piss on your clothes. <laughs> I will say, oh, yeah, very defender. Oh my god, public defender. That's a uh, quite a wrinkle there. I have a very similar story. Yep. Uh, college girlfriend. Uh, got up, walked around the little barrier to where her dresser was in her tiny dorm room, uh, was peeing, and she wakes up. She goes, hey, are you peeing over there? <laughs> and I don't remember this. Apparently, I was like, long pause, no. And then, <laughs> no, question mark. And she goes, it sounds like you are. And I, this is, this is fucked up. I was like, I have a cup. <laughs> peeing into a cup there. Well, like, so that's you did fucking... have a cup? No! No way! <laughs> I have a cup. <laughs> oh, man. That is so fucking stupid. That's great. Great show. Let's definitely delete all of the last no, 20 yeah. to 25 minutes from this. Yeah, time. folks, if you were here, you were here just for that. And uh, that... <laughs> That's our, that's uh, our legal team, our legal team right there, Spencer Griffin. Who, team. Um, Spencer Griffin, now that you've shown face, you're also um, you're a part, of, part this. of this. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. To be fair, it. he he is just a public defender, so like it's fine. Yes, it's the best. Um, folks, mm -hmm. thank you for being here. I will, here. I will be over to pee on his floor. <laughs> thank you so much, yeah. folks. We're gonna pee on everybody's floor tomorrow uh, and next week and into the future. Mm -hmm. Please come and hang out with us. Goodbye. Good night, folks. We'll be back next Wednesday at 8. We'll see you then. Oh, I can't physically get us closer because whatever. Goodbye. It's a cup. Calm down. It's a cup. <laughs>